My goal is to do some work on the computer today. There we go, focus. Oh, that's cause, hold on, let me wipe you guys off. There we go. Wiped you guys off. But I want to get to this. This makes me not like my office right now. Like, all this stuff in the front stuff being sold this is stuff i need to post for sale i'm keeping some of the stuff back there on that shelf and this i can't really clear until i do that and this is getting put somewhere else this stuff don't mind that but yeah so this right here so i need to post some stuff for sale and oh I need to post some stuff for sale. No, just know if Anne's butts about it. Yeah. Okay. I had that here on, but I'm actually pretty warm right now. Um. So yeah. That's why I came and sat over here. I got myself together already this morning. Other than this pimple right here, this damn stress pimple. It didn't pop up until yesterday but um yeah so like I said I got some work to do today which I'm gonna do in a few minutes and then um so I'm gonna do that and then uh try to get to that today I've been up since about five o'clock this morning it's 6 19 um don't have much planned today um which is good because i really want to tackle that because i want this to be my my workspace and that doesn't give me good workspace vibes because it's so cluttered in that corner yeah and every time i thought about doing that corner it just gave gives me anxiety like um but I know I just need to tackle it, so I'm going to tackle it at this point. A lot of that stuff um, can go in the garbage. Things that can go bad, like such as resin. Um, obviously, unopened resin, I'm not touching that. But the ones that are open, I'm just going to throw those away. Um, you know, let probably post this stuff as... Um, probably post the stuff as like a resin beginner's kit. Oh, it's raining, my bad. I stopped because I was like, what is that? And it's raining outside. But, um, but yeah, so I might post, like, all the, re the resin stuff I want to do is a lot. So somebody else, if they want to do that business, they can, you know, get it and just get it all for, like, a good deal. So, um, my plan is to do that. Um, there are a few things that I would, projects that I would like to do for myself, um, such as some decals for my car and well a few decals for my car and then um i would like to get those done which i have the stuff to do it i just need to do it um i just keep i'm i'm been procrastinating i need to stop procrastinating so all of these things i'm gonna do uh for my tiktok and i'm gonna put them post them on my tiktok i'm gonna post some stuff for you guys but the brunt of it is gonna be on tiktok so if you guys aren't following me on tiktok make sure you're following me on there and if you're not following or subscribed to me on here make sure you are you know hello friend nice to meet you my name is crystal as you can tell by the name of my channel and welcome make sure make sure you subscribe Hit that notification bell so you know whenever I upload a video. And we can always chat. 
Okay, so me and the hubby soon. We have, did I put it on my calendar? I may have. So May 9th. All right. Okay, so May 9th, Thursday, May 9th, me and the hubby are going to a co another comedy show. Y'all remember um, Trailer Ta Trailer Trash Tammy? And that was a good show. Um, and then now we'll go see Aerie Spears. They're at the same theater here in Green Bay. So we're going to go see him May 9th, which I'm so excited about because, yes, I'm going to age myself. I grew up with Mad TV. And if you guys haven't seen Mad TV, it was like a skit comedy show, kind of like SNL. Um, and it was so funny. And he was one of the people on there. So, um, you know, it's nostalgic. It's something that I've, someone who I've seen growing up. So I'm super excited to see that show. I want to start doing little enjoyments like that. But my goal is to uh, actually like reward myself with that stuff. So I want to start the things that I enjoy. I want to start rewarding myself with. Um, for example, like, I want to buy myself some clothes so bad, but I keep stopping myself because my goal is to, um, only buy a few things right now that's needed. Um, and I want to buy the most basic of that, right? Because my goal is to lose a hundred pounds within the next year, which is doable. Um, but I want to be a new wardrobe to be my reward when I lose that 100 pounds like you know what I mean um from right now where I weigh I'm trying to be about 100 pounds lighter and I'd be happy I'm not trying to be skinny I never really was super skinny mind you after I had my daughter I was the smallest I ever been but I like being a thicker person yes I'm only five foot one I am very short but um I want to at least be 100 pounds lighter and my reward to myself will be a new wardrobe so as of right now I told myself you know I love thrifting so maybe I'll go and thrift some stuff for right now that I want um, for myself just to add a few more things to my wardrobe because mind you the stuff I have now isn't bad um, yeah I, I'm a repeater I have so many shirts in my closet and you guys will see me with the same shirts on because I have my favorites you know so I I probably have I don't know 40 graphic tees probably more more no I don't say more but um and I wear I like wearing the same ones um uh, there's some stuff that's so nice that I don't want to wear it if I'm not doing anything to ruin it you know so um that's probably why I don't wear it but I need to just start wearing what's in my closet I need to start wearing my watch more it's normally just sitting on it on its charger um, I, I wear it when I go outside, but I need to just start wearing it all over so I can calculate my movements, my workouts. If I go for a walk and stuff, I try to wear it. Don't always grab it. Um, but yeah, so let me stop blabbling. today it's, there we go now, folks. it's super good line see now that's better it's not focus on both of us but let me watch the curb because my clumsy ass right. trip walk. right if i could break ankle and shit spent easter in hospital but yes i wore my crocs just because i knew i was gonna like have to take my shoes off and stuff so oh oh i can't wait temporary no credit cards or debit card payments or cash oh well, i have both she stay texting her man, y'all. <laughs> well, no, because my mom said she was going to take me to liquor store. So, what you going? What you thinking about drinking? I don't know. That's the thing. Honestly, honestly, I don't want to. Liquor, 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 because then I'm gonna have to make drinks. 
Hey guys, we're done at the nail shop now and we are at Millions Crab waiting for our food. And they got it all decorated in here for Easter. Um, but we have to get some food and you know, I'm with my seafood person because y'all know the hubby don't eat seafood. But the mini likes everything. <laughs> everything but mushrooms. <laughs> If they cut up real small, if I can't see them. Yeah. <laughs> but she's literally like the only young person that I know will eat like everything. Almost. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's certain things I'm not eating. I'm yeah. not eating a no roadkill. I'm not eating no frog legs. No. I'm not no country. Man. No. But I, 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 I tried <laughs> things at least once. What if it was rabbits too? Hell no. Cool. Well, grandpa said rabbits do actually really good. Yeah, do say that, but you grew up eating that. Exactly. And I don't have to eat that. I didn't grow up. I don't have to do that. I'll eat my vegetables if that's the case. I ain't got it. Okra. Have I'm, you tried it? I, no, I haven't. But it literally. Actually, I think I have. See, I think that I could try fried okra. Yeah, that's probably. Uh, but the regular okra is slimy. You know what I like? Fried green tomatoes, and I need somebody to make them so I'm extra She don't make them. She don't make them healthier. So why would she make them healthier? You're right. She, she don't cook them. What am I'm I right. Talking? I'm like, what? She's the one who deep fries everything. I know. I had to think about who I. That he's my auntie. But um. But you need to tell her because she will more likely find green tomatoes down in Milwaukee, and she's going to be in Milwaukee this weekend. Cause they're doing their food thing for the Lucas. Cause um, I haven't, I haven't had fried greens. The last time I had them, mm -hmm. when Tanya cooked them for me. So she always made fried greens. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, I would, I would tell her. Cause knowing her, she'd be like, "Ooh, okay, I'm gonna make you some too." Like she would make herself some. But. Wait, my food needs to hurry up though. We got our food, guys. This is mine. Mine doesn't have sauce on it because I, no I didn't even know if that was gonna be good. <laughs> and hers came with the, like hers looked bomb and shit because it came with the sauce on it already. But she knows what kind of sauce she wants. Look, it looks like she's going in for surgery or shit. <laughs> but she's it, doing nail tech classes and she don't want to ruin her nails. So, but yeah, bon appetit, guys. Bon appetit. so I could do some stuff this morning. I've um, been out for about an hour. It's about 6.19 right now. <sighs> Not feeling so hot this morning. Um, the past three days I've been waking up and feeling really like nauseous. The first day that this started I actually like threw up. <sighs> Man. And I really didn't eat much yesterday at all. Like I went out to eat with my daughter as you guys saw and then I I had that I had like a piece about this big of like a Jimmy John sandwich in the morning like early in the morning yesterday and then I had that and then that was it like I literally had that little piece of Jimmy John sandwich and then the crab um, thing and that wasn't even a lot of food for my stomach to be like this like oh i need to take a nausea pill too but um i had my nintendo switch across the hall but i'm bringing it back in here um to put it away so let me put this over here so i'm gonna put my nintendo switch away and then i got this little micro block set yesterday so I'm gonna put this together, which is awesome. So if you guys aren't following me on Twitch, follow me on Twitch. Um, links are always in the link tree description down below. Um, let's be friends across all platforms. So I got this to put together. I got this to put together, this box right here. This is more of these shelves. Um, my goal is this little space right here that I have where I have all my Legos I'm going to put it here but it's not going to be as high as this one um, I want to match it probably to the bottom of this thing here so I'll probably put two here and then two here 
or four here and then I'll just save the other two or add it to somewhere else um, but yeah that's what I'm gonna do today so I got this Amazon <clears throat> I will link all these below and then I got another thing but I, I gotta move you guys cuz you guys are sitting on it so let me put you guys here and then here let me fix this real quick All right, and then I also got this Lego set. And these aren't like traditional Lego sets because like if you ever go on Amazon and look for like adult Lego sets, it'll show you like other generic versions of Legos. But to me, Legos are Legos. I'll get them and I'll put them together too. Like I don't care. Um, I think one or two of the boxes that I have aren't traditional Legos that I put together. I think my... Yes, my RV camper. This right here with the truck. And then this car here. Neither one of those were traditional Legos. Let's see, let me show you guys. See, all of these were Legos. You see, they all have Lego, you know. But you see, this box down here, creative idea. And then this truck camper. These aren't Legos, they're like off brands. But they look the same. So, um, but this one is, let me see if it's the right way. Oh, this one is a train. And it's a really good size. I think once it's done, it's going to be about like this long. Um, and yes, I couldn't have got the Hogwarts, Hogwarts Express train, but it's way more expensive than this. So eventually I will get it eventually but um i thought i'd do this one then i'll have a couple trains you know lego train sets that i've done um but my goal is today probably to do i have another one coming in the mail actually today which i'm excited for it's another mario one um it actually looks the other lego set actually looks like a nintendo switch on the bottom and then it's built up from there and it's like a mario scene i'll put a picture right here um which I thought was cool since I have a switch um, so that's gonna be coming in the mail today there we go yeah that's gonna be coming in the mail today so I'm super excited about that but I'm a uh, I go live on twitch putting my Lego sets together so but now I'm just trying to debate if I just want to put this shelf together real quick and then do my Lego set it's Saturday. It's the day before Easter. I have nothing planned today. Thank God. Um, so I think today was going to consist of like probably just live streaming on Twitch. I was going to play around with my stuff and try to use my camera as the um, camera for streaming on Twitch. And I think if I attach it to my computer, I could honestly to be honest I could attach my microphone and this camera and stream through my laptop to twitch I could do that do it through like stream labs or something then that way I can have better quality stuff eating some of my the rest of my leftovers and <laughs> and I'm watching my girl Glen Mazzante. So I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat before I finish the show. So that's what your girl finna do. Hey guys, just on my way back home. Um, I decided to uh, go to the grocery store. Oh, I still for guys. Let me stop that quick trip. Um, because I needed a few things and I'm like, it's, it might snow. 
so I'm just gonna run to the store now plus it's Easter weekend so I knew it would be busy and it was busy as shit in there it was so busy in there um, so I'm glad I did go when I did so now I got stuff I need I'm gonna make Swedish meatballs for tomorrow with homemade um, mashed potatoes and gravy some roasted vegetables you know so I'm do it simple for Easter it's just me and the hubby we're not gonna eat that much between the both of us so um so I'm just gonna do like Swedish meatballs probably start them tonight put them in a slow cooker maybe and let them cook till tomorrow um and then uh I need flour for my banana bread that I was planning on making this morning um but I uh couldn't make it because I needed flour that's really what I needed like the gist of what I needed was flour so but now since I'm almost home and I forgot the ice that we needed I'm just going to uh stop right here at quick trip right by my house and grab one because we have no ice everywhere is so busy I think everybody's trying to do their running around today Saturday this is tomorrow's Easter I think everybody's trying to do their running around today so like I'm even getting one of the last parking spot over here oh my neighbor he's going for a run he's over there drinking coffee even though I was able to go right up at quick trip right behind me the line built up there like when I turned around there was probably like 10 people behind me like, <laughs> sorry my car radio cut y'all off but yeah it's just time for me to go home everywhere is so busy everywhere is just so busy but that's what I get for going out on Easter weekend I should have did all my stuff yesterday you know. Okay, I'm in my downstairs bathroom. You guys hardly ever see the downstairs bathroom. You guys see more of my upstairs bathroom. Y'all were a little cricket, but um, I'm just putting one of these into my downstairs bathroom. My downstairs bathroom is way more plainer than the upstairs bathroom. It's literally just a toilet and then our mop bucket. <laughs> like we took the pictures down that were in here. I'm going to put some more pictures up, but as of right now, it's just plain in here. Like, just plain Jane. But I just want to put one of these into the toilet. You always want to make sure y'all wash your hands with those tabs. I don't care if you don't think you touched it. That chemicals is really bad for you. All right. Okay. Just put those tabs in there. And then um, now I'm about to make the hubby a tuna melt for... Um, lunch or this will be his brunch because he hasn't had breakfast so this will be his breakfast last lunch his brunch and um i'm not hungry so i'll make something later so because i had leftovers this morning as you guys saw but i got my ground meat for my swedish meatballs tomorrow i just got ground beef and i got ground um ground beef and ground pork so to make meatballs <sighs> but because they're already thawed, I'm just gonna put them on a plastic plate in the refrigerator. You know how sometimes the blood seeps out and I would hate to have to clean my refrigerator out, so. Ooh, there we go. Oh, forgot to grab my two eggs. My two eggs and my unsalted butter for my Banana bread. I have a plastic bag here that I'm gonna use 
for like my garbage scraps, like the banana peels and stuff. I'm gonna put those in here and wrap it up. I had to wash my hands again, handling that uh those meat packs, just in case there was some blood. I already got a fucked up stomach. I am not trying to make it worse, but oh, let me grab out. Do I have some in here? I think it's all. Yeah, they're all in the closet. Let me grab out some tuna so I can make the hubby a tuna milk. I say a closet, but a pantry. It's a, this is a closet. It's an understairs closet, but I made it into a pantry. So all my shelving is on one side, wheelchair. Um, so I made it into my pantry. It's the closet under the stairs. <laughs> Literally. I could have turned that into my Harry Potter room. But I just grabbed out a pack of tuna. And I'm going to add some cheese and make him a tuna melt sandwich. I'm going to grill it on the stove. But I'm going to do this after. I'm going to make that after I start the banana bread. Flour and my sugar organized. I got my flour in here and I got my sugar in here. And I believe I found these at the Dollar Tree, these containers. So I hope this doesn't overflow. It's kind of full. I have it in a loaf pan, but I'm gonna put it in the oven on 350 for about 50 minutes. Um, and then I'll let that cook, go do what I need to do upstairs, and then come down, take it out, let it sit for 15 minutes in the container, and then take it out, let it cool off on this wire rack for another, for a little while longer. But um, yeah. That's what I'm about to do. I'm gonna put a cookie sheet under this just in case. I'd rather be prepared than not prepared, and I'd rather have it be to where I don't have to scrub out the bottom of the oven. And I'm also just gonna clean up this little stuff I made. I'm not gonna bore you guys putting my flowers together. I recently did that with you guys, so I'm not even gonna bother with that. But so I'm just gonna put those together and um, yeah, get my productive day, keep my productive day going. That's what I'm gonna do. His tuna melt is done for his brunch. And I'm going to go upstairs. I'll do my flowers when I come back down here. These are the ones I grabbed. They're so pretty from the grocery store. And, whew, okay. Take this off. So I'm done making my banana bread. up in my little pantry room i got two in there both of them are from my sister but okay let me run this stuff upstairs like i said i'm going to um do these when i get back come back downstairs so. Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Don't play with it.